application called Cognizant, which basically goes through and uh, tells you what all of your apps are doing and gives you the choice of getting rid of them or not. That is awesome. How do folks get that app? Uh, it's coming out in five days. It's free. It's, we're, not, we're not charging anything for it. Uh, it does not have any adware, and it doesn't expire after a period of time. Man, that's I'm, awesome, and it just tells you what's going on. It tells you what's going on, and you're, you're going to be shocked, absolutely shocked. And it run, the, our first version runs on Android. We'll, we'll be moving into other platforms later. Android is, is, the, is the worst in terms of, of app permissions. So, um, you know, people who have used it, uh, John used it, and he was kind of shocked at, whoa, uh, my apps are doing this, and then it gives you the option to get rid of them. But, but this is a serious problem because it's not just the U.S. government. Uh, we do know that NASA is putting out apps and, uh, and uh, other covert agencies, but it's corporations and individuals that are using our uh, um, innocence, basically, in accepting these permissions to, to do anything that they want. Bank of America, what is Bank of America? It is a collection of its employees. Any employee with access to their data center can spend their lunch hour listening to what you're doing. And where, no matter where you are. And it's come out that they harass girlfriends, ex-wives, husbands, that they are indeed using it to play God. Yes, absolutely. And we're letting them. We're letting them through our ignorance and our innocence. And when I say ignorance, we, we're unaware of, of what has happened. And they don't want you to be aware. Isn't that the big hurdle, though? They tried to deny it existed. Now it's admitted they lied. It's admitted it's huge. It's totally illegal. I think that's the beginning of the end of the system if they simply, uh, if the people simply say no. Well, I, I, can we say no? Here's the issue. We depend on these, these phones. We depend on the power. We depend on the ability to, to uh, communicate and to contact our families and to, uh, to uh, voice chat and video chat. Um, so what we need is, is we need legislation. We need, we need some serious, hard looking at what's actually happening and say, listen, you know, we have to stop this. We cannot have a total loss of privacy that is occurring. You have no concept. If you get this app and you run it on your Android system, you will be shocked. Everybody who has run it in testing has been shocked. It, it ranks the apps, like how, how much of a threat each, of, each individual app has a number associated with it that tells you, you know, this app has got a ranking of 50-something, 60-something. So you can say, you know, that app has got you know, a high, high score. I'm uncomfortable with the amount of information that's coming out of this thing, out of my phone. And, you know, it's time to remove that. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. Well, I can't wait till that comes out. In fact, that's what I wanted to get you on about originally was, was when you come out with these devices. Are you still working on a device that... Uh, absolutely. And uh, the, the device, uh, Decentral, is still coming, and the Cognizant app is going... Is, it's called Decentral. Decentral. Um, the Cognizant app is going to be the kernel of that. It will morph into Decentral slowly. So we are, we are still on target. We are still uh, working on privacy. Well, you're the guy that launched the whole antivirus revolution. And so, uh, I mean, I, it's pretty exciting to have you doing this. Uh, I did. Uh, they, of course, changed my name now or will be changing it soon. Um, the Intel is changing it to just Intel security. Not sure that's a wise move on their part, but I think, I think my wild and crazy personality uh, uh, makes them nervous. So, so they're going to change the name of your, the company you started, McAfee? Uh, not Mac, not the company, but they're changing the name of the product. Yeah, they're changing it to... I think it's called Intel, Intel Security. What do you think now of the fact that it's come out that the FBI is indeed creating a lot of the viruses and stuff to hack into people's computers? Well, you know, it, it, I, I, I said this early on. This is, this is what's happening, and this is going to simply get worse. Uh, they are taking advantage of the weaknesses in, in our technology. The weaknesses, the... the uh, the leaks, the back doors, the ease in which someone can get into your computer and look at everything that's happening. Read your emails, read your text messages, listen to you, watch you. Um, it, they it can even use your phone to make calls on their behalf um, and without your knowledge. And to be clear, it's not like they're targeting one guy with a warrant with some spyware. They'll put out 10 million you know, uh, computers that get infected to, quote, find one guy so that when he logs in... They know. I mean, no, that's just an excuse to spy on everybody. It is, absolutely. And uh, the only solution, I think, is, is public awareness. Uh, and we need, to, we need to lobby our legislators to change the laws to make this illegal. Well, it's just funny. The theory was always that the virus company 
antivirus company makers were the ones putting the viruses out, but I've never really seen them caught doing that. It's always government that's doing it. Well, that, that would be like carrying coals to Newcastle or adding water to the ocean. I mean, there are enough people out there writing viruses that antivirus companies would not need to do that. The same thing now. Anti-malware companies, it would be foolish to write malware. Stay there. John McAvee and his investigative reporter. When you need it the most, will your generator, power equipment, or vehicle be ready? Gas and diesel fuels go bad quickly when stored, and more than half of generator failures during disasters occur as a result of expired fuel. PRI fuel stabilizers keep your fuel fresh for when you need it most. Nuclear power stations, emergency service providers, and ships at sea rely on PRI fuel stabilizers. And you can too. Call 888-776-9373 or visit PRIproducts.com to find the dealer nearest you. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. With new and ever-increasing health threats on the rise, there has never been a more crucial time to support your immune system. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary new silver solution that is clinically shown to be several hundred times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver and is powerful enough to help protect you and your family from deadly viruses, bacteria, and fungus. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, highly effective, and perfect for everyday use inside the body as well as out. The science Digest Journal says silver is our mightiest germ fighter. It is virtually non-toxic and is emerging as a wonder of modern science. Supernatural Silver is the number one choice of thousands for improved health and immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver can change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER2014 for 20% off. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. It's been said, those who control the food control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Soretto is here, investigative journalist with John McAfee, who really doesn't need any introduction. And we are broadcasting worldwide on, it's already the 13th day of 
Hard to believe March 2000, 2014. Time is just flying past us right now. And I want to shift gears. We'll get into some other subjects later into now what really happened in Belize versus all these big Warner Brothers and Paramount. They're all making movies about John McAvee. And I don't really see you being interviewed by those folks. I guess they've got a story they want to put out. But now you can give us the rest of the story. And, and again, when you were telling me some of the story first, uh, when you first had come back to the U.S., I found it unbelievable. And I apologize. I didn't say I thought you were lying. I just said, man, folks, I don't know if this is true about you know, Ryerson and all these other stuff going on and government people. I was just you know, shocked by it all. And then some of that news came out about Ryerson plots and passports and Iranians. And it sounded like a James Bond movie, John McAfee. I know you've done a lot of secret black ops work for the government previously. None of that's involved this time? Okay. Um, do you want to take it from here and explain, you know, how well, you fell into this? Yeah, you know, absolutely. Uh, that's when I, I came into the story at a point in time um, where I started to interview John about his application, about some of the things that were going on, about cybersecurity, and that's what drew me into the story um, because I was there at that point in time at which um, it was interesting. Uh, John was actually putting out ads to for uh, people uh, to, to be bodyguards, and what he was trying to do was smoke out the cartel, and it just got deeper from there, right? So uh, the cartel um, and the people that uh, McAfee um, has... Uh, that were after him and uh, put an attempt on his life, as John described earlier, in Portland. Um, you know, he uh, was trying to discover, you know, who these guys were. They're, you know, they're organized, uh, but they're not that smart. So he would put out ads. It was interesting. He actually had an interview with one of these gentlemen in a cafe um, and, you know, had lunch with them. The guy never asked for the actual job, right? So, what it, you know, a bunch of interesting stories as far as his life, um, you know, along the way and some of these things that happened as, as this story unfolded. Um, but it really all goes back to those days in Belize when he was out there um, and he encountered this situation with, uh, with the government down there um, and the selling of passports and recorded all this, this information that uh, they're after. And that's really why they're, they're after John in the first place um, is that he's got this information uh, he's collected this information, and we have a lot of this stuff that it will be coming out in this report that uh, is, is very uh, publicly uh, discoverable information that we've organized and will be put into this thing, um, and, and that will be forthcoming on Silicon Angle. The, um, the problem is, is when they raided my property on March the 2nd, this was the, the result of my refusing to uh, pay a bribe to the local politician. Um, and then the politician came back, you know, with the next week saying, oh, I'm, this is what a terrible thing to happen. I am so sorry. You know, they shot your dog. They destroyed your property. This is so terrible. Have you reconsidered your donation? Yeah, I basically threw him off my property and went to the international press. I also donated um, a whole bunch of computers to the Belizean government that had keystroke locking software and software that I had put on there. So classic was, Trojan horse. Classic Trojan horse. Um, I was hoping just to find out of hard... Uh, evidence that they had planted this whole thing, just planned this whole thing, just to force me to pay the money. What I found out was far worse. I found out that they were selling passports. I found out that uh, almost all of the government ministers were involved in, in, in some kind of nefarious and illegal activities. Um, and it just went from, from bad to worse. They discovered what I was doing in, um, well, late September of that year and began a, a, a serious process of intimidation. And I've given, I've given John all of this evidence. John has talked to witnesses in Belize, uh, the people who are with me, um, and has, has verified everything that I've said. Uh, then when Greg Fall was murdered in November, which I, I firmly believe now was an act of the government, uh, they came after me for real, but not just at night, but during the day. For an entire month before the Greg Fall murder, they were trying to collect me at night. I was finding out about it because I was listening to them. I was watching them uh, through their computers. Um, and they never could catch me because when they would show up, I'd be somewhere else. And, and I remember in all the media stuff, didn't you record them and you've released some of that before? I released, I released a little bit. Just to prove here's, it. Here's, here's, here's what I'm trying to do, Alex. I'm, I'm trying to, number one, stay alive. Um, the only thing that I, ha I have to bargain with is those recordings. Um, the thing that, that I, am, I am attempting to do is to make... Uh, the public aware that, th that this is actually happening. 
without providing enough evidence to put everybody away. I mean, there are a few people that need to be put away. All right, long segment coming up. Let's get into as much of this as we can with John McAfee and the investigative journalist who is with us. Whoismcafee.com. Is that the best website, John? That's the best website. Yes. We'll be right back. I'm Alex Jones. We're on the march.